Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 22533. I've just installed it on my laptop, as you're used to. And in this video, we're gonna go through all the changes, all the improvements, and I can assure that we have a few things that are really, really interesting in this new build. So make sure to not miss this one. Before talking about anything else, don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe to the Tech Based channel if you don't want to miss any future videos like this about Windows 11 inside our preview builds and also if you like this video it helps me a lot as YouTube tends to recommend videos that get more likes usually so if you want to help you can help me this way so without further ado let's get on with the video first of all a bit of a sad news for some people is that Microsoft is resetting the rollout of the updated entry point for widgets with weather on the taskbar here on the left side that was first introduced with build 22518 so as a result some insiders who had this enabled may find it has reverted to the original experience as seen in the released version of Windows 11. I'm really not sure why Microsoft decided this, but hopefully we will see that back again into our taskbars. If you're interested, don't forget that I've made a video on how to manually enable that taskbar widget if you don't have it on your dev channel insider preview build. An interesting new thing in this build is that we will have a new calls experience for your phone app. So basically, Microsoft will begin to slowly roll out out this new calls experience for your phone's app on Windows 11. I still don't have it on my computer, but you're going to have a screenshot on the screen to see how it looks. So basically, this update includes a new in-progress call window with updated icons, fonts, and other UI changes that align with the improved design of Windows 11. And I think that is really, really interesting. If you got it on your dev channel, make sure to leave some feedback in the comments down below because I'm really interested in how that is working, how is the audio quality, and so on and so forth. For this build, also Microsoft provides the ISOs and uh, if you want to download them you're going to have a link in the article down below in the description that will redirect you to the Microsoft website where you just have to scroll down and select the edition basically the latest dev channel build if you want to download it very easily and you can use it to install it on other computers or VMs and stuff like that. Now if we are talking about the most exciting thing that happened in this build for me personally is that Microsoft updated the flyout design for the hardware indicators for brightness, volume, count camera privacy, camera on or off, and airplane mode to align with Windows 11 design principles as Microsoft states in their blog post. So let me just show you how good this looks. We have the new volume flyout, which looks absolutely nice in my opinion it has a very small little animation rounded corners a nice icon here is the brightness one you can see it here it looks really good that icon gets bigger and bigger as you turn on the brightness more and more i think this is really really nice and you will also find these new flyouts for the camera and also for the airplane mode so these new flyouts will appear when you press the volume or brightness keys on your laptop and of course if you have the dark theme they will appear like this and if you have the light theme, they will appear as you'll see in the following screenshot. I think this is really, really nice in my opinion. So shout out to Microsoft. Finally, they changed this. It looks really, really nice. I'm looking forward to hearing from you in the comments down below about this new, interesting new design change. You can now search for voice access from the taskbar and pin voice access to your taskbar or start like other apps as well as turn it on slash off. So that is really, really nice. Just right click on it. You can pin it on your taskbar and it will look like this. It's really, really simple. Microsoft is also expanding the rollout of, of extending the 13 touch keyboard themes to IMEs, the emoji channel, and voice typing first introduced with build 22504 to all Windows insiders in the dev channel. So if you don't know what that's about, if you use a certain theme for touch keyboard and stuff like that, that theme will also be applied to voice typing, emoji panel, and so on. So I think that is really nice. And of course, this is now available for all Windows Windows insiders in the dev channel. When you now press Windows plus X on your keyboard or right click the start icon, it will now say installed apps instead of apps and features. So you can find this option here. If you click on it, you'll be getting to the installed apps section from the settings app in Windows 11. Now the 
another interesting new thing is that you can now uninstall the clock app if you want. This wasn't available before, but now starting with this build, you can now uninstall the clock app if you want. So basically, these are all the changes and improvements. Now let's talk about some fixes. Regarding some general fixes, Microsoft fixed an issue where insiders may have seen the error 0x800 7012a during a driver or firmware update. They also addressed an issue causing insiders to be unable to sign in to certain apps sometimes, such as the Feedback Hub. They also fixed the text in the exploit protection description in the Windows Security app, so it just refers to Windows and not Windows 10. That is also good. They also fixed an issue resulting in not being able to import photos from certain cameras and mobile phones into the Photos app. It would just loop forever saying zero items found so far. And regarding Windows Sandbox, closing it and then launching it again should no longer lead to having two Windows Sandbox icons in the taskbar, one of them which is non-functional. Regarding the taskbar, the Wi-Fi icon should appear more reliably in the taskbar now. If you have multiple monitors connected to your PC and right-click on the date and time on the taskbar on your primary monitor, Explorer.exe should no longer crash. And also holding control and hovering your mouse over the task view icon in the taskbar should no longer make the Explorer.exe crash. Regarding settings, they mitigated an underlying issue related to the use of Mica and settings, which was impacting overall reliability of the settings app in recent flights. They also fixed an issue impacting some insiders which was resulting in settings crashing when trying to access the installed apps, startup apps, and the default apps pages and settings. They mitigated an issue that was making the wheel page and settings crash when adding an action for an app. And now you should no longer hear a crackle if playing audio and repeatedly clicking the volume slider in quick settings to change the volume. Regarding windowing, if you hover your mouse over a truncated window window title in all plus tab or task view, a tooltip showing the full window name should will now appear. Regarding input, they improved how the text color and buttons look with theming applied on a candidate window, emoji panel, and clipboard. Before this, some buttons slash text was hard to see with certain custom background colors. Voice typing launcher should no longer unexpectedly reappear after clicking the microphone icon to invoke voice typing. For insiders with the updated input switcher experience, accessibility tools like magnifier and narrator should work better with it now. So of course, in this build, we also have some known issues, but I'm gonna leave you a link to that in the article down below in the description, where you will see all the lists and all the changes, of course, plus the known issues that you can find in this new Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the dev channel in the Microsoft official blog post. So this is build 22,533. I'm really excited for this one. I'm really happy that they finally updated the volume, brightness, and other flyouts that were really old from Windows 10 and they look really good now. I'm uh, hoping that you are also excited for this. So as I've said, all you need to know, if you want to know more info or more details about this new build, you can check out the article down below in the description. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.